Alright lads, what's going on? This is Rossi and basically this is a new FIFA 11 Ultimate Team Series we're going to be starting and basically I'm going to be talking about all the transfer targets and stuff as you all know the transfer window has been open for a little while now and there's a few players already signed for example Jordan Henderson's already gone for 20 million to Liverpool so I'm going to be talking about a single player who I think well who's been rumoured or speculated to tran like to move to a club or a player who has definitely already moved so I'm going to be doing these as regularly as the rumours come out basically so the first one I'm, first one I'm going to be talking about is Nasri going to Manchester United obviously I'm a United fan so I would love to see Nasri even though I don't like him as a person but I love him as a player if you know what I mean I'd love to see him at United but the first thing I'm going to mention is would Arsenal sell him to United that's the big question obviously there's a lot of hatred between Arsenal and United so I'm not really sure if a deal would be able to go ahead because Arsene Wenger has already come out and said if we do sell him we would not be selling him to Manchester United whereas I don't really think that would be the case because Nasri is only going to want to go to a club where he wants to play at you know he's not going to go to somewhere else where he doesn't want to play so that would be a big factor he's basically turned around and said that he's not sure about signing a new Liverpool Arsenal contract which basically means to me he's not going to do it and um He's basically said, signing to United, well, we'll have to see if it's concrete. And that, to me, just says it all, to be honest. It says how much he wants to, well, not how much he wants to do, but it just says he wants to go to United. So, that's another big factor. He doesn't want to be at Arsenal, sounds like, and he wants to be at United. Probably winning trophies, mainly. Now, it has been rumoured that we could be paying up to £8 million for Nazri. Now, that's not a lot of money considering, well, I know he's got one year left on his contract, but considering we've paid, well, we're about to pay 16 or 17 million for Ashley Young, you know, a Nazri for 8 million for, you know, that just seems quite cheap for me. I don't know what you guys think, let me know. Also, also says, and I don't agree with this, that he is the next replacement for Paul Scholes. Now... To be honest, I don't really think he is the next replacement for Skulls. I think they're two completely different players. And Nasri couldn't replace Skullsy because Skullsy is just pure class. I know Nasri is a good player, but just them two are just two completely different players for me. So let me know in the comment section what you guys think of that. Could he be replace Skullsy or could he not? That is a big... Well, obviously if Fergie signs in him, Fergie thinks he can replace Skullsy. And obviously Fergie knows more than me, so fair play if he can. Now, for the people wondering, they're probably thinking, why does Nazri want to leave? Well, the thing is, it says he won't be signing a new contract until he knows who Arsenal will be signing themselves. So, he obviously thinks the current squad is definitely not good enough to challenge for trophies and stuff. So, he's very interested in seeing who Arsenal are going to bring in. Now, it looks like Arsenal aren't going to bring in much, much quality if you want to put it that way, this transfer window. So, that's obviously what looks like he, why he could be on his way to Old Trafford, basically, because he's not satisfied with Arsenal's transfer targets, whereas, obviously, United have already got a good, decent squad and already winning trophies, and I think, well, that's definitely what he wants to do. He's already said that. If Arsenal lose the likes of Nazari, Fabregas and Clichy, then, you know, they're going to have to spend some serious money because they cannot cope without them three players, in my opinion. Let me know your guys, well, let me know your opinions, basically. So, Fabregas looks like he could be on his way to Barcelona, as he could have done last season. But, obviously, Barcelona weren't willing to pay the £40 million or something similar to that um, transfer fee. And Clichy's rumoured to be going to Liverpool for £5 million. Now, they're, they're, Clichy's obviously a bit out, a bit out of the blue. But... Two, them two midfielders, Nazri and Fabregas, are Liverpool, well, no, not Liverpool, Arsenal's main, you know, they're, they're two of the best players, basically, them, Van Persie, and a couple others are just their best players, to be honest, in my opinion, so, if them two go, then I don't know what Arsenal are going to do, I think they have to spend some serious money with the money they do, well, if they sell Fabregas, they'll have a lot of money to spend on a lot of players and stuff, whereas Nazri, you're only going to get, like, 8 million for him, so... You know, you can't you can't replace a Nazri for eight million. That's just I don't think you can do it. So if them three players leave, 
Obviously, going one's going to uh, uh, Liverpool. One's going to Liverpool. Yeah, sorry, I'm about to say Arsenal. That's cliche. One's going to Old Trafford, so Manchester United, and that's Nazare. And obviously, one could be going to Barcelona. So that would be quite devastating for Arsenal's sake. You know, they want to be challenged for trophies again next season, and losing and selling players is not the way to do it. Coming to the end of this video, obviously, all the information is so far there's been very little released really United could be signing for 8 million you know he's not happy with the uh, transfer targets that Arsenal have so he's looking to leave because he don't he doesn't think that they are title worthy contenders basically so I'll keep you up to date if follow me on Twitter that would be the best place for me to keep you updated with the Nasri situation gonna be doing another commentary on another player which I'm not gonna be revealing obviously you can't just reveal stuff like that you know breaking the law on that but gonna be revealing another player very soon so if you like this video then please subscribe please like it I always appreciate a like and give it a little cheeky comment maybe yeah so that's it see you later guys from the referee 5-3 the final score getting good habits